Hey there, this is Robert Martin. I am a queer non-binary artist from Appleton, Wisconsin. I was born in Marshfield, Wisconsin. I received my BFA from the University of Wisconsin Stout and my MFA from the University of Colorado Boulder. I'm really honored to have this opportunity to talk to you today about my work, Harry Woodpecker for Ken. It's a really special work and I'm honored that it was accepted into Birds and Art. This is an homage to my grandfather, Kenneth Eugene McRoberts, who passed away in 2015. He was 92 years old. He was involved in the U.S. military. He was involved in Wisconsin academia. But I primarily knew Ken as this hobbyist woodworker, scrabble genius, and active member of the Shaquamigan Bird Club. So it was actually my grandfather, Ken, and my grandmother, Val, who instilled the love of birds in me and my family. They used to bring us bird watching. We visited the Birds and Art Show at the Woodson annually. I've been employing birds and wildlife in my work since undergrad, largely because of that love that they instilled. Here, I'm using trompe l'oeil strategies to represent actual projects that my grandfather had his hands in. So the two projects that I'm largely referencing here are a leather-clad chest that held a lot of field guides and cameras and binoculars and things that my grandfather had made, as well as this small stool that was gifted to all of my cousins and I on our first Christmases. I actually still live with my stool that my grandfather made. It sits by my front door. It's where I put my shoes on every morning. They're just these really lovely little oak stools that have our names hand carved into them. You can see visual elements of both of these projects being employed in this work. I think it's a really beautiful way to honor someone and the things that they offered their time to by offering your time to memorializing that. So this is a very time-staking process to create a trompe l'oeil painting. I consider it a portrait of him. I think that these creative aesthetics are as much a portrait of him as any photograph.